Hello and welcome again. I make a lot of videos today. I feel like teaching and I was asked about the three areas of the, this window. So let's jump directly into it. Well, the first area on the left side, this is your planes or your allies plane. The cool thing here is that you can mouse over and in this case, my, the number of fighters, 500 from the Byzantine empires and by model, these are the, for example, the fighters, I don't know, the closer support, it, it tells you there in the message and for the enemy the same, you can see these are from Italy, these ones are from Hungary and so on and so forth. In the middle you have the climate kind of self-explaining. If you have a storm, you have more chances of accidents. There are some ministers that help with this. And of course, if the time, the, the weather is clear, is perfect for air operations. So let's go to the new line here. Air detection is super important. This one, it starts usually very low and it's increased by mainly your radars and the number of, of planes that you have in there and it can be affected by the weather if it is night or day but I cannot stref stress enough how important radars are. For example, if you have their detection means that the enemy if you have a 10% air detection, the enemy has 100 planes, you are going to be detecting only 10 enemy planes and you are going to be able to send three times more planes, that is 30 of your fighters are going to be attacking the enemy. So it's super important to have air detection because you're, that way you are going to be overwhelmed the enemy and the enemy is going to be clueless trying to locate you. It's super important for interdiction so your fighters can catch the enemy bombers and avoid the enemy fighters. Forgot to mention that if you also control the land below you are going to be having more art detection and now the mission efficiency. This is also very important. If you have 50% mission efficiency, you are going to be dealing 50% damage. Kind of try to have this number as high as possible. And you get this by having um, airfields in the area. For example, let's say that you want to control this area. Well, you need to have airports, for example, here, that is in the middle, and that your planes there have a very long range. And the more airports you control, the more control you have of the area, and the more range your fighters and planes have, the more efficiency. So try to check the number and see the effects of the different combinations. It's here. I usually have this number quite high. And as you can see, the enemy has low detection and low efficiency because they don't control the airfields, they are losing the terrain. So it's kind of hard to enter a new area when you enter the Soviet Union. For example, you may have just an airport nearby, so heavy fighters are useful because they have longer range when you are attacking. That helps with the efficiency. In the middle you have this button that is super important here you check the statistics by month by year because you can trust the number you see this is a snapshot of what's happening today but here you have the statistic in the last week the last month and so on for example you can see here that i did not lose trains always check the trains lost if the enemy is going is winning the battle you are going to be losing a lot of trains if you don't have interdiction and as you can see, we are doing quite well. Our fighter lost two, and on the their side, enemy fighter lost 18, enemy bombers lost 44, and seven support planes. So they are doing very bad. The first window here is the fighters, the number of planes engaged, the, the more detection, the higher your detection, more planes of your side will be engaged. 
and this is your total number of fighters but you can see here how many planes are engaged and this is the number of enemy planes and how of them how many of them are engaged since they have less detection even if they have more planes their number here will be lower than the number that you see up here and the last line is the ground combat you can see your side or their side if you click here is our bombers but since we are not using close air support we can check theirs and here you have their planes that the number of planes our number of fighters intercepting 500 and the number of kills to our fighters and the number of kills to anti-air and uh, this is kind of confusing because it's the, the number of, of missions that we interdicted but we did far more than this so I, I don't trust very much this number and it makes little sense and always you should check here this is what it really matters don't pay that much attention here take the numbers from here and finally you have three more buttons that you can sort for type of missions for example this will be naval bombing or ports attacks and you can check the one you desire of course you can mouse over to be the exact details and the meaning and that's all thanks Eric for the question hope you find this useful have a great day bye bye